Hello everyone. I'm going to be showing to you some of the weird but commonly used food ingredients in the northern part of Ghana. First of all, I'm going to begin with this one, which is very popular. It's not only found in the north, but it's found in uh, almost every part of uh, Ghana and the world at large. It's agushi, and we do a lot, we make a lot of delicacies with this. You can use it for stew, you can use it for soup, you can actually use it for uh, some kind of vegetarian meat called agushi. This one is called kuka. It's used for soup, it's dried leaves, some kind of dried leaves and you can use it for soup. And then we have here dried okra which is also used for soup. When it's uh, used for soup, the soup is very, very slippery. The same as this one also. I have posted a video of this one of soup that I made with this that you can eat with TZ. And this one too, we use it for TZ as well. This one, you can use it for uh, TZ, you can use it for stew, you can use it for light soup actually, for fufu. And this is dawa dawa. Dawa dawa. I believe that most people must have heard dawa dawa before, but usually you don't see it in this form. You see it in a dried and powdered form, but this is fresh dawa dawa that I ordered from the northern part of Ghana. And it's very nice, very nutritious, very, very nice. It, but it smells terrible. The smell is uh, quite something, but it's very nutritious, very good. And this one is not so common. Not uh, many people my age know how to cook with this, but I do, and I actually love it so much. It's called konton. Konton. It's also made from uh, cotton seeds. It's made from cotton seeds, and uh, it's only the old people who know how to cook with this. But thanks to my grandmom, I do know how to use this, and I love. I like it a lot. It's very nice. Goes well with uh, fresh okra so yeah that's it for today thank you very much for watching see you again bye